Hell yes! We're gonna erase that badass marriage we had two seasons ago because we deserve better! <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Asia K Geek X X Chic, and we're back with the last episode of season 17 of The Flash. Yes, we are at the season finale, which feels like it was, it kind of feels like it came quickly, but it also feels like it's been a long time. I think the hiatus just made everything feel a little bit off with the show this season, but we're here, episode 18 with The Heart of the Matter, part two. The West Allen family is actually all back together. Iris is back and she's stable for the moment and the twins are there or sorry i keep calling them the twins i know they're not twins but the kids are there and everyone's together except for the fact that we now see that august is really here trying to take out bart first and then eventually barry we're gonna get into the episode but before we do you know the drill if you've been here before and you like what you see please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can be notified when i do more reactions obviously the flash is going to be done for the season here but i do a lot of other shows that are very very similar to this one so hopefully you consider joining the family all right that out of the way guys let's get into the episode right about now central city's being torn apart my dad's out there doing something that'll probably get him killed it's like everything's falling apart. It's like, I, I got nothing to say to you there. You, you're pretty accurate. <laughs> Caitlin's got, I got, I got nothing. Maybe you guys should get out of the vehicle while it's being electrocuted. There you go. What do you really want, Hart? My, oh my. You're really direct. Um, yeah, people are dying. I'm the living guy to speed. No, that was Savitar. Like Next. Once upon a time. No, oh, here we go. There was a young physicist named August who dreamed. No one cares. Faster than that he'd never be fast enough. Hard. Tell me how to stop this one. Yeah, he's like, what do you want? I don't care about your sob story. My son is dying. He was so cavalier with his gift. A gift that should have been mine. Oh, boo, freaking who? I'm sorry, did you see the genetic stock he came from? He has every reason to be cocky. Take it up with God. Who knew, right? And again, I knew you'd come looking for I didn't. Answers, which eventually would bring you to me. That's what I said last episode. Oh, I can see those little wheels turning in your head. Wow, this dude's literally got a vein popping. Yeah, he said no. I said no. That's right, stand in it. Kill him. He's right there. Just kill him. Yeah, no, yeah. Just kill him. What did I say? Where do we start? You're a homicidal maniac who thinks you deserve speed even though you don't. You're really just a jealous and shallow little boy, and now we have to kill you. Did I cover everything? It just all feels so hopeless. It never is. Just breathe, sweetie. You just need to take a minute and breathe. <sighs> Touch some grass. Meditate. And then I hear the bad guy. If that's true, how am I supposed to live with that? Maybe you shouldn't. Bad guys? They don't feel remorse like that. Yes, they do. They just choose not to do anything about it. <laughs> This is what people don't understand. Like, villains are not these robots with no emotions. They literally are just people who feel emotions but choose a bad path. Like, that's it. Esperanza chose to go on that mission. Thank on you. you. Hey, but you know what is? The Flash being alive today because you didn't go with her. But I'm ready to get back to the business of keeping Central City safe. It's like, that's something you can do. You can't do anything about Esperanza now. I mean, you need to mourn, but doing the coulda, shoulda, what? Aww, he deserved that. I watched the freaking Speed Force, and I was just so amazed and, and nervous. Not and the time. We have to teach you when to pull back. You look a whole lot like someone very close to me. I get that a lot. <laughs> right? She's like literally my only storyline. Whether you're already a full speedster or have just a spark of Speed Force inside of you. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to give you Was that a sex joke? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Stop it. Oh, thank you for- Aww. 
But I'm sorry, I kind of like the idea of Iris as a speedster again, even if it's just for an episode. That extra was so not scared. <laughs> she did not look like someone running for her life. She was like, which way is the mark? Here comes the meta. Wait, she's a speedster? How? 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 What just happened? Meta. You will meta. Mm-hmm. You will meta. Mm-hmm. You will you will you will you will you will meta. Sing it with me. You will meta. Ooh, I mean, it looks so good in her little speedster outfit again. No gloating. Let's keep going. Oh, yes. Okay, you know what? With your whip, girl. Yes! She whip her hair back and forth. Can't you just, like, pull it from them? Like, you're a force. You should be able to just take their speed. Oh, wait. Are we doing a Kung Lao here? Are we just gonna... Good night. Concussion for all y'all. My guy's like, I don't even do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Please, I'm too refined at this age. Mm. I love seeing my babies back to back, having each other's back, literally and figuratively. Yeah. They're sucking your speed up. I was thinking, aren't you just charging them by your lightning that you keep sending to them? Okay, Lagra, let them know. She's like, mm mm, y'all don't see me glow. Um, but we need to use that again. Please, can you just consider giving hard organic speed? What is it with her wanting to help villains? First, Thawne, now this. I mean, sometimes the best offense is the defense. Yes, you are, baby, with amazing hair. <laughs> Just is like I forgot having multiple speedsters has its advantages. Hey, don't worry, Cecile. It's gonna be okay. You, you're wasting your empathy on this man because right after he does this, he's probably going to kill you all. Because if he wants, he thinks he deserves this speed more than these guys. He's going to kill every other speedster. Oh, you don't have to do this. Kind of do. You're a psychopath. Sure. Can we just address how jacked up it is that the Flash literally has to create the villain that's going to eventually try to kill his kid? What language was that? Oh, yeah, I guess they did need him to pull the clones back. That's true. They didn't really know how else to do that. What do you need me to do? You be my anchor while I concentrate. That's right, Iris, be the anchor. She be the lightning rod. She be the person who just keeps it all together. Wait, is that Thawne? It sure as hell is. As I was saying, no way Thawne's letting that shit happen. <laughs> you have no idea, because he will kill you. <laughs> Reverse Flash is like, I'm a villain, in case you didn't know. Oh. Ain't gonna lie, though, that's kind of badass. <laughs> when have you done something like that, Barry? <laughs> I hope you're taking some mental notes. Oh, we just gonna have a lightsaber fight now. Okay. Flash Wars, Star Flash, I'll take it. This is kind of funny, I'm sorry. Oh, he's a dual wielder. Now y'all in trouble. We got a Sith Lord on our hands. Where is this place? Should they be just throwing lightning around willy-nilly? Next thing you know, they're actually like in a petroleum plant. <laughs> balls! Kick him in the balls! No one ever kicks anyone in the balls! This fight would be over. God or no God. Pretty sure those are still soft. Oops! He's like, did I tell you that I kill? We needed Thon. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. We needed Thon. Are you a god? Let's see. Speed healing? No? I mean, thanks, Thon. Sorry. I know you're not going to think so, Barry, but thanks, Thon. You could have killed him. That was the point. Wasn't that the plan? Right? And, um, 
Like I've had a day. I don't have time for this. It's because of me. What did you do? But you should know. And you? He says innocently. My words. Marked. I will. Okay. Bye with you and your guy liner. What about August Hart? He's in Iron Heights now. So Barry, he knows your real identity. What if you talk? <laughs> Central City doesn't. Speed force, Nora. Yes. you was the best decision I ever made. Stop it. Oh, I agree. <laughs> Queen. Husband and wife. You never really got the wedding you deserved. These past few days. Thank you, Flash writers, for recognizing the way we were. We were robbed. <laughs> Get out. This is so cute. What did you do your vows? And remarried me. Hell yes. We're gonna erase that badass marriage we had two seasons ago because we deserve better. No, it's okay. It's good to see you. Welcome, Meta. Kramer. Get your ass back here. My Meta test came back positive. You think? So you are a speedster? Oh, yes and no. Just like when I needed super speed to save your life, I had it. So she's like a... That's incredible. She's like a mimicker? I can mimic the abilities of any meta in close proximity, which sounds... That's cool. Baller. It's giving me new perspective. You think! On the path I took... You think! ...law enforcement. Mm. That's why I'm taking an indefinite leave of absence from CCPD. <laughs> I mean, I listen. It was wonderful to have you, you know, First Nations representing, but... Bye! I wonder if Joe's gonna want the job back though. I think he likes being a PI. Direct your attention. Oh, this is no. This is no. Oh my god. Yes, Queen. Couldn't resist adding a little something extra special. Are we gonna have a song? Is that what's gonna happen? Yes. This is for you. Oh my god, we're getting a song, aren't we? I can't. No, not a song. Oh my god, this is so weird. I'm sorry guys, this feels so random and I know it's supposed to be super beautiful, but it's just weird. But the beautiful! Okay, let's move on. I'm sorry, that was really That was crash. No. No, just no. That's how you know. The greatest sequel since Empire Strikes Back. Mm. As Barry. <laughs> I love all the geeks were like, eh. Barry? Yes. I'm not Barry. And I promise today Stop it. to continue loving you with my whole heart. Y'all don't come for me like this. Ever since we met, my present and my only future. That's right. That's why today I promise to continue loving you now and forever. Get you a man who said that you're the only future, you hear me? In good times and bad, for all the days of your life. All the things, yes. I do. Joe <laughs> just crying in the back. By a last minute internet web search. <laughs> I now pronounce you. Yes, oh. kiss. Oh, yes, the kiss, yes, kiss. <gasps> Are they allowed to kiss? Oh, not a flash time kiss. Y'all really went for my heart. Y'all really did this to me. Didn't you buy me? <laughs> nope. Okay, that's beautiful. The one and only kiss we got, that's right. Okay, that was a really lovely end. Is it the end? Hi, this okay. Is I was like, next thing you know. That was a nice end to the season, actually. Thank you very much for that, keeping it light and easy. All right, guys, that was the season finale of The Flash, season seven. And yeah, I think things got wrapped up as nicely as they could. Uh, obviously, the Godspeed arc, I don't know. I kind of feel like it could have been better, but so much was so weird about this season that I'm not really going to give too much of a harsh crit critique just because we all know what happened, right? Like, I think the Godspeed storyline might have been trying to go into a different direction entirely, but as we all know, last year happened and a lot of things just got chaotic and a lot of plans 
had to shift and we lost the cast member when they weren't really planning on it. And then on top, then we had um, Carlos leave the show. So a lot kind of ended up happening and the show had to do, I think, a lot of changes and a lot of quick thinking of how they can make this season still kind of work with a lot of weirdness <laughs> mixed in. And so I feel like overall they did a decent job. Again, I feel like, I don't know for certain, but I think we had like another showrunner change. And I think we also had some writing room changes. So when there's that much kind of unrest in the midst of also trying to shoot in the middle of a panorama, it's just a lot. And I think the show did the best that they could to churn out a somewhat coherent and cohesive season, even though it was a disjointed mess sort of that was handed to the people who had to create it in the big, or I guess it would have been the middle of 2020. So yeah, I guess overall, like I said, the beginning of the season, they had to basically clean up a lot of the stuff from last season. Last season was all over the place. I felt like there was way too many things going on. And I think the writers who came in this season realized that and did their best to wrap each one of those things up without necessarily making it seem too abrupt or too weird. But because they had to do that, it left them very little time to go into anything else, which is why I feel like the Godspeed storyline ended up feeling a bit, in my opinion, abrupt, I guess would be the best thing to say. I wouldn't say rushed per se, because we did have some tastes of it last season, but it definitely felt very abruptly closed in these last few episodes. And it kind of had to be because we had a shorter season. But I'm okay with that because, yeah, everything. This season was just so hard in so many ways. And the actors themselves, too, especially Grant, Candace, Carlos, Danielle, they're all American. And the Flash films in Canada. So they were having to take extended leaves away from their family. And again, I think someone in the comments said that Grant's wife um, is either pregnant or just had a baby. I'm not sure if she had the baby or not. But point is, it's kind of a huge time in his life and he probably does not want to be away from his wife and family for an extended period of time. Danielle just became a mom last year. I don't know how things went. I'm assuming she brought her baby up with her, but still, like, it's just, it's a crazy time to be away from family for a long period of time. And for those of you who don't know, Canada had some very, very strict, uh, Miss Rona, I'm trying not to say the word because YouTube don't like me saying the word, but yes, because of what's going on, restrictions on travel got very, very difficult in mid-2020, right up until like recently. So basically if you came into Canada, it became very difficult for you to leave and vice versa. Like if you wanted to come in, you had to be prepared to quarantine, test, all kinds of things. It's a lot. It's a lot. And so a lot of these actors ended up being away from their friends and family for a very long time, which is very difficult during a very unstable time. So I'm okay with them abbreviating the season and kind of allowing everybody to just take a break and, and deal with everything because it was a lot. As far as this episode in of itself, I'm not talking a lot about it because there isn't much to say, I think. Like I said, it felt very abrupt. You know, Barry finding out the, ma the master plan. I get it. In of itself, it wasn't a terrible plan. August Hart did come up with a really good situation, right? Where the Flash would kind of have to say yes, because again, as I said in the last episode at length, Barry does not, he doesn't cross the line, right? He's too much of a hero. And we heard August say it. He's like, I know you won't turn me over to the clones because you know they'll kill me. I know you won't kill me yourself because you're too much of a hero. So I put you in a situation where you would give me what I want because it's the only one that doesn't get direct blood on your hands. But obviously, like I said, Barry had to know there was no way that August was going to just take the speed and go home, right? If he's about to try to kill your kid in the future, like, no way he's going to take his speed and just be like, okay, thanks, bye. Like, come on, clones, let's go home. No, like, he's absolutely going to kill you. He's going to still kill Bart and any other speedster he comes across because he wants to be the only one. Thailander up in this P. Yeah, so I, I think Barry knew, but the whole giving him the natural speed thing, I mean, obviously, like I said, the obvious answer was always there. <laughs> the obvious answer would be to just end August. I don't even know why they had to have the whole thing with Cecile kind of like tapping into his sorrow and trying to like make him feel better. I guess on the one hand, as I said in the episode, I guess it was maybe to show that not all villains are 100% villainous. And I said this many times across many of the shows that I've watched is that a good villain is one that should be conflicted. Sh a, a good villain is someone that we as an audience should be able to empathize with to some degree. We couldn't really do it with August because while we got to see him all like, oh, I don't remember who I am and I'm kind of scared, we know who he becomes. 
And once we saw who he was inside the inner sanctum of his mind, it was very clear that he, he, you know, he wasn't some poor guy who had a hard go of it. He literally, his story was literally, um, I wanted to become a speedster and I created Velocity X and then I got jealous because people who were born with speed were good at it and I would never be that good. So I just decided I'm going to kill everybody else so I can be the best. Like this guy, like Godspeed's just a douche. Like quite frankly, he's just like a more douchey version of Thawne. It was kind of upsetting to some degree that he got what he wanted and getting the natural speed now, but there really was no other way. I get it. The way the show was written, there there was no other path because Barry wasn't willing to do what needed to be done. So bringing in the reverse flash, because the thing is, I wasn't shocked at Thawne showing up. The fact that we had Nora be the one to bring him in was interesting, but I kind of figured it would happen because we all know that Thawne will never let anyone but him kill Barry. I don't know. I think I, I think I would have liked it a lot better if, if Barry and I actually would have liked it a lot better if Thawne had just showed up like right in the middle of battle somewhere and just pff, just shanked him, like just killed him out of nowhere. And then Barry be like, <gasps> and then Thawne be like, how dare you? How dare you step in on this dance, sir? Me and Barry have been at this since like he was a kid. You can't just cut into the dance now. That would have been great and much more to character bringing Thawne in on purpose and then of course expecting him to turn but also being shocked that Thawne tried to kill him. I'm like really Barry? Really you were shocked that Thawne was gonna kill him? The man who killed your mother? Who was an innocent? Like I'm conflicted about the lightning sword fight. I, I don't think we needed to have everybody suddenly develop lightning sabers. Coin it. I, I want to trademark that right now. Lightning Saber. I feel like if, if Godspeed had done it, cool, because everyone's got their thing. You know, we saw Wally with the stars and Nora with her whip, Iris with her arms of fury. Uh, you know, it would have been cool if like, okay, he's got a lightning saber. But yeah, seeing everyone get one and then them have like a weird like fencing match. Just I don't know. It just felt very out of character. It was what it was. And uh Godspeed is now in Iron Heights for as long as that lasts. And of course, Thawne will come back when he figures out how Barry is faster than him. But I do like that. That's probably one of my favorite outcomes of this episode is that Barry has leveled up. Thank you, Lord. But we all know that Thawne is going to definitely figure out a way to match up and definitely be back for Barry at some point. But that's okay. Uh, outside of that, we didn't really have much other than we wrapped up the whole thing with Kramer. She is a meta. I like her ability. That is cool. It's a little bit of a rogue type, like rogue from X-Men type of ability where she can mimic abilities. And that like the, the fact that they kept bringing this up, it was pretty clear that they were going to show that she was going to be a meta. So now she can't have her anti-meta agenda. And obviously now it doesn't make sense for her to stay as the new chief of police after she was so loud and proud about anti-meta agenda. Now that she's one of them. Yeah, not a very great place for her to be sitting. So best that she leaves. Yeah, there really isn't much else to talk about in this episode, to be perfectly honest. Like the rest was kind of like, I feel like just kind of wrapping up. I almost feel like this could have been one episode, to be perfectly honest. But I understand that they probably wanted to give us a little bit more of those West Allen moments. And most, of course, the ending. I didn't forget about it. I just wanted to make sure there's nothing else in the episode I really wanted to touch on. But yes, they obviously wanted to give us the West Allen rework of the wedding. Those of us who are West Allen fans since day one, we know we were robbed. We were robbed with their wedding when it first happened. Like, I don't even want to get into it. It was just disrespectful. They should have had their own moment, their own beautiful wedding. That is what should have happened. And we're not happy that they threw it in in the middle of a crossover. So it is a moment that a lot of fans over the years have said, we deserve a West Allen wedding. This was nice. Really what made it the nicest for me was just the beautiful acting between Grant and Candace because I know those two actually have genuine love for each other as, as co-workers and friends all these years. And I'm so happy that Carlos got to come back for the finale and kind of spread his beautiful energy all over that. Like that was that was a very cute moment. I love that they had their little, their, the one kiss they were able to have this season. <laughs> the one time they could risk it for the biscuit. I think it was a nice sweet conclusion. And I think considering, like I said, all the factors that I talked about earlier in the video, it was a nice high note to end the season on. And yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, Barry and sorry, um, Bart and Nora are still in this time period. So I'm assuming in the next season, we're gonna have to figure out a way to send them back. But 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching the season along with me. It has been a lot. It's been a very interesting journey, but I still have hope. I think these writers are still a lot better than the ones we've had in the last couple of seasons. So despite everything being crazy, I think this season turned out to be as good as you could make it with all the mitigating circumstances. And I do apologize for these late, these late uploads for this particular season, but yeah, I wasn't feeling too well there. And so my recording schedule got pushed back quite a bit, but it is here now, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me and watching this entire season along with me. So thank you so much, guys, and we will see you in the next video.